Good morning, everybody. Thanks so much for joining us. I'm Nettie Irampour, filling in for Eric Connor. And I'm Stella Escobedo. Well, we are already feeling the hot temperatures if you've been outside and this is just the beginning. We can expect to see much warmer temps this weekend. Netta, you're tracking it. Uh, you're po tracking possibly record breaking heat this weekend. Yes, we are looking at all time hottest records possibly being broken this weekend. We'll show you that in a moment. But already if you stepped outside, you are feeling those hot, hot temperatures. Look at all the sunshine around San Diego. This is the view from Black Mountain and looking out towards the south. Looks like Rancho Penasquitos there. A little haze off in the distance. Temperature wise, the temperatures are already moving on up. So yes, our warming has begun. The heat wave is officially here. It's going to last a while through Monday. We're talking about through the Labor Day weekend. Record breaking hot temperatures expected for Saturday and for Sunday. We're also looking at an elevated fire risk because it's dry heat. We're getting an offshore wind and that is not necessarily good news when it comes to our fire dangers. Temperature wise right now, look at this 95 and Julian. You're at 92 already in Ramona 86 Poway along the coast. Some mid 70s downtown San Diego mid 70s 82 in El Cajon. El Cajon, you're one of those hot spots that we're watching because what's to come for this weekend there. It's going to be pretty dramatic. Excessive heat warning starting right now. It actually started at 10 o'clock this morning. It's going to last all the way through Monday night. This is for inland areas for the coast. Your excessive heat warning will begin tomorrow. Also want to talk about the fire weather watch that's going to start here. It's Saturday morning at 10 through Sunday evening and look at the winds 15 to 25 mile per hour winds are coming in from the east to west, which will dry things out. So that sucks all the moisture out of the air. It's going to dry out a lot of that vegetation and it's already going to be very hot out there. So of course that elevated fire danger is something we want to warn all of you about about fire prevention certainly will be key throughout this holiday. If you're planning to go camping, things like that, keep that in mind. Put out those campfires completely. We don't want to see any fire sparking in our area. Firefighters already have it rough all across our state. So this is showing you the elevated fire risk through the weekend, the areas of the oranges and reds. You mainly see it there for the foothills, the mountains, the deserts, but all throughout our region, you're going to feel that heat. You're going to feel the dry air. You're also going to feel those winds coming in down from the mountains and into the valleys and the coastline. Look at the the inland numbers that we're seeing here. Look how high that gets on Saturday. So from now until tomorrow, you're, we get ready for 107 for inland spots. Sunday also staying right there at 107. The overnight temperature is not even cooling off that much. Here are the all time records that we may see. These are the hottest temperatures we could see throughout San Diego ever on record. So Borrego could hit 121 on Monday. Ramona, you could reach 113 on Sunday. And then Escondido, you may shatter that record. Look, 114 expected for Saturday there. The record is 113 set way back in 1909. El Cajon, you could also hit 114 on Saturday. So of course, with this hot, hot air that's out there, you're going to want to escape the heat, find a little bit of relief. And News 8's Chris Gro is joining us live in San Marcos. He has tips on how we can all stay cool. Certainly, uh, desperate information that we're all desperate for, Chris. Important information, I should say. What's going on out there? Well, for starters, in order to stay cool, you're probably going to want to avoid wearing dark clothes like I made the mistake of wearing today. But we're also going to be able to let you know about some other ways to try to stay cool because this heat, it's going to be hard to escape from it, especially if you're in some of these inland areas like San Marcos and even further east. So let's take a look at some of those tips that we have for you today. Uh, this is all helped out uh, by the county, especially they're warning residents to slow down. Don't go outside during the hottest parts of the day. If you're going to insist on doing uh, any type of exercise, make sure it's during the cool part of the day, the early morning hours, or if you like being a night runner sometimes when that sun goes down. Stay indoors as much as possible. Wear lightweight, loose fitting clothing. Drink more fluids than usual. And even if you do not feel thirsty, make sure you're getting that water in you and avoid alcohol or caffeine. Now, for those of you that are unable to do some of the things listed on that tip list right there, if you are unable to get to any type of air conditioning, the county does open up cool zones for residents, especially seniors to use, and they encourage you to use them. You could find them all the way from Alpine to Valley Center, Spring Valley, Ramona, Lakeside. They are all over the county, mostly out east. Now, 
in order to access one of these locations during COVID-19, safety measures are going to be in place. All visitors and any staff of these locations must wear facial coverings, practice social distancing. Your temperature is going to be taken and there will be time limits in place due to the fact that a lot of these places can't have the capacity that we are used to pre pandemic. So there are still a lot of safety measures in place so that people can still stay cool, but also stay safe. Now, being that it is Labor Day weekend, uh, the hours are going to be 12 to 5. But for more info on how to stay cool, especially with these cool zones, go to our website, cbs8.com, and click on the help button. Netta Stella.